Hello uh, strategists and tacticians, fleet commanders and viper pilots, welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing hardball. In our beautiful command center where we work kind of alone. So we had a pretty nice evacuation mission last time, let's have a look. Uh, what's the overall situation? Captain of Eurybia from Colonial Fleet 9 is requesting emergency repairs received unverified civilian reports of a Cylon fleet appearing above Troy. Troy, uh, Troy is not a... Uh, Troy is not a, a colony, right? Where's Troy? Well, Ophion Kokolos, Thanatos, Gortin, Olium. Ah, oh, there's Troy, okay. Well, <coughs> we have no uh, idea what's going on in that system, I guess, because. We don't have anybody in that system. So, but our FTL drives need to be uh, need to recharge further. Um, what's the building situation again? Two turns. Oh yeah, well, and the Cerberus will be finished in just one turn. All right. So, and you guys, recharge for twenty. Well, it's kind of. Well, okay, I, I actually I feel that it's not very dangerous for them to wait there. Um, and they were, yeah, they are designated. No, they are actually designated here for. No, they are designated for Albina's fleet. All right, so let's just have a short look at our officers. Um, we ourselves are relatively short or close to the next uh, promotion but yeah we are not uh, wasting any resources on ourselves right blueprints there's nothing new we got but we got some stuff so actually we have a lot of requisition points now um, <clears throat> but I don't see any advantage in uh, investing anything at the moment instead Oh ah, yeah, let's repair this fleet. 48 tillium. Ah oh yeah, and and we we remember our frigate, our heroes that found a hero's death when fighting so many revenants. It's okay, no, it's fine. So we can just uh, stay put for the moment nothing new to build uh, every fleet is complete we have organized everything i think yeah this is pretty good so helios uh, uh, helios delta is is fairly safe but that's basically the system where we stayed the longest um with the with the highest resources by the way what's our income 320 we were already at 350 or something so and here I mean, we need to do something. Pycon. We need to reinforce Pycon. That's Pycon. So, but it's... Let's charge for one more turn. Uh, yeah, and I think, yeah, we can just end this turn. Cylon escort group has been detected. Okay, that's it. All right. Then you, for 60, well, that that we can jump, or they have two fleets there now. Um, oh yeah, but uh, actually like a Jiminon. Oh no, we are at, with which one is Jiminon? Yeah, this one, yeah, no, we need to reinforce Jiminon a little bit more, I think. I just wonder why it's not rising. Sigint has intercepted details of a secondary objective at Leonis. Cylon fleet has jumped out of our detection range. Yeah, that's fine. So you guys, recharge for Tilium. Okay, we're just staying put there. So 
Oh yeah, so this free good is done. Yeah, well, and actually maybe we should stranger cruiser let's build another frigate it's not super expensive just to use the turns and then we'll have i think next turn we can jump in but we, we will jump to partner uh, to here to virgon and yeah it's just one more turn okay yeah, that's good so then we we just establish a full new fleet here and we have one officer for that brandon tech bay subsystems right okay so i i do feel that we need to do something though 60 trillion and did we increase anything? No, we need we need more victories here in Helios Alpha. So let's jump for 60. Now we need to jump there. So let's do that. For 60. Um, yeah, and the others. Just wait, nothing to be done. Detected turn. a Cylon strike oh, fleet, sir. There, there are so many of them. Okay. Ah, but but we picked a good fight. We are actually stronger than they are. Skirmish over Pycon. Let's proceed. Let's do that. We we caught um, a weaker Cylon fleet. That's good. We got lucky there. I wonder if at some point we will get some form of equipment where we will have uh, more of an idea what kind of uh, enemies we are facing. So with just four we can be more offensive. Like this. And we are missing one frigate. It's very sad. It's guided missile. Yeah, we are not wasting any resources. Let's actually use Viper ones. Now that we are significantly stronger, let's proceed. Prepare to jump in three, two. There's a lot one. of stuff going on. Uh, this is just an asteroid field. Thanks, Helena. We are jumping in. Very nice. This one is for CIC subsystem strength. That's actually nice. Had we known that one, we would have flown. Further ahead, right? So like this, maybe like so. What's this? Armory. Okay, well, that doesn't feel worth it. Let's send the Artemis in. But we're staying Onic, low. Because then we can shoot with our upper artillery. So, launching, launching vipers. All squadrons. Launching alert launch. vipers. And actually. Well, maybe you being the lower one, uh, you go. Yeah, actually, we can split up. So, let's end the turn. Splitting up. Someone, ah, yeah. So I bet that's his nemesis from from its behavior. All right, good. We can actually going like so. Artemis on it, Commander. 
Let's full attack. We focus on this one. Everybody shoots their missiles on this one. You as well. Going full offensive. Missiles at that one. Well, I guess we are not in range, but anyway. You two. Focus fire on this one. Shooting all missiles at that one. You guys defend them. You defend them. The Percy's. And you guys also defend the Percy's. Ending the turn. Hostile unit identified. Any missiles coming in? Excellent. Very nice. Very satisfying. We will get them with the left. All right. So it's, I know this is a Talon. Okay, they just started the radars. All right. So now they will shoot their missiles, I guess. Focusing fire on this one still. You guys continue your good work. When we are not high enough, or what? Yes, Commander. Let's be defensive. You guys, offensive. that one so vipers are coming around ending the turn the problem is of course these guys are so fighter close. squadron is taking fire yeah that the vipers don't have so much time to destroy them that's actually not so good so is this one ours now no, it's, ah, yeah, it's controlled. All right, good. I don't want to be reckless here. So let's fly like so. You guys keep shooting them. Let's shoot that one. Oh, the bottom. Okay, yeah, well. Uh, Let's actually fly like so. Yes, Commander. Focusing fire on this one as well. So they shot all the missiles. Most of them found us. You also fly like so. Focusing fire on this one. And let's have all our Vipers attack the radar. Squadron target is confirmed. Squadron. So we destroy those guys as quickly as possible. Yeah, I'm not impressed. I would have expected that one of them blows up this turn already. So let's do it. We are being heavily hacked now. Come on, destroy them, guys. What are you doing? Okay, still not destroyed that one. Okay, well, I guess time to boost away. On it, Commander. We can't fire anyway. You guys are fine, though. So why is that? Why is this? The red line to the satellite or is it is it actually that uh, only the the ship that that has activated it gets the bonus or what no right
Well, we only have the bottom, that's the problem. So let's fly like so. And let's continue shooting at this one. Frigate. Flying there, shooting this one. Understood. And oh yeah, we can actually shoot some cells. Let's shoot the missiles at this one. So we are one turn quicker. That is very convenient. Oh yeah, the radars are nearly done. So let's do that as quickly as possible. Good, they are gone. Very good. That guy is also gone. Yep, very good. Viper is going to be hacked. You guys On it, Commander. fly like so, and let's shoot. That's the front, bottom. Now let's focus on this one first. Understood. Let's fly like this. Shoot the tail in also. Also, let's shoot our missiles. You guys, I oh, don't have fire control, but the fire control is re-established a little bit. Let's shoot like so. So say we all. We're going like this. Focus fire. Shooting missiles at the tail end. We're flying like so. Also shooting at the tail end now and fire munitions. And all three Viper squadrons can also go for the tail end. And then after that we're just mopping up the nemesis. Good. Full broadside. Very nice. Heavy artillery and missiles. Excellent. Talon goes down. Now we can focus. Yes, Commander. On the nasty nemesis. You guys. Just fly around. Okay, just checked. Uh, it can't be clicked on anymore. Okay, and you guys, you are actually, you are okay, but done for. Let's go like so and go full defensive in uh, reducing the repair time. I think you guys are probably out of fire range, but let's stay on. These guys fly for that nemesis. A battle star is being hacked. Very nice. Missiles incoming. They are actually ignoring the missiles when they, even though they are flying there. Okay then. So let's have our flag. Ah, it's armory is offline. Okay, well then, let's shoot some. Munitions, and I think at this point we can just ignore the others, they will just continue with their orders. And that's it. Yeah, okay, so it's fine. I think we didn't suffer any structural damage, which is, which is good. Subsystem damage. Oh no, this per the Percy's got 15.4 points. <clears throat> yeah, but it's fine. So let's have a replay. Oh yeah, and nearly... How can we... Do we have a level? Looked like it. So. Enjoying the view. That was, of course, a rather simple standard mission. 
And I was, I'm, I'm actually wondering if there is some form of hidden silent economy or something um, that they are able to build so and so many ships per turn. Or something and if that increases if they take control of the whole colony or something which would be actually a good argument to defend as much as possible and not abandon anybody like we basically did but yeah I've, my strategy was to make sure that uh, at least some systems were well defended and remained there um, ability to produce stuff yeah. um, and then to uh, yeah, to establish a defensive perimeter from where we can actually go on the offensive yeah although of course I, I bet that uh, the people here in the lower right corner of our uh, map I think it was Helios Gamma or something that they feel pretty much abandoned So, I will be there very soon. Uh, this is the basic, uh, de uh, the Death Star, I guess, or like the Cylon Star. Okay, uh, very nice. So we do have the Solaria, very nice name. Prometheus, very nice. Transfer this one to Colonial Fleet 95. And you transfer you also to Colonial Fleet 95 and then let's have an officer for you guys you right everybody else has their stuff so let's assign yes he is here here on the on the manticore now no 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 yeah what Here's this one, 95, right? So assign for 10 trillion. Yeah, good. So let's have a look at the officers, by the way. So this is Evelyn, Evelyn Lawler. She's an analyst, technician, and integrity technologist. Okay. Explorer and Combat Engineer. The technologists, I think we already have technologists, right? Commanding Officer, Commanding Officer, Combat Engineer, Explorer, yeah, CAG, Commanding Officer, Technologist and Technologist 2, alright. Good. Anybody to be leveled up? No, but we are getting close. That's fine. So intelligence says, ah, oh yeah, very good. Helios Alpha people are steadfast. That was a victory that we needed, by the way. So what is it saying? Engineering advisors, they have been studying the PCM blueprint and believe it can strengthen our fleet's potential. Yes, of course. But we want to be on a planet where we actually get a bonus. So and now for 60 trillion. Yeah, I mean, we could waste one turn. How many fleet points do you guys have? You can actually have, you can have another frigate. So let's build some cheaper ships, some, more, some cheaper ships, uh, because you don't get the bonus. But this one here, that's well, actually, they are not so super expensive anyway. But yeah, let's have two more frigates. For the fighters, they can put in space in the sky. And then we'll jump there. But that we will see next turn, my dear fellow strategists. And these guys, they will also jump over there. Oh. Oh, the oh no, the mission is gone. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, had I known this, then I would have jumped there. Ah, well. But I'm not doing a scum saving now. Scum saving loading. Ah, oh, that's sad. Well, okay then. Yeah, well, all in all, we would have come out on top of this because we would have gotten something, right? What was it? Oh, that's sad. Yeah, well. And it doesn't it didn't say how long it would be there, right? That's very sad. Well, then, anyway. So, thanks for watching, guys. Still, I hope you liked this episode. I would appreciate if you click the like button. And you are very welcome to join the channel. So, you never, ever miss an episode again. So, next time, bye-bye.